Good afternoon, my name is Takesha. Uh, welcome to another workshop I would care to prevent on how to say true to yourself. The outline today, what we're gonna talk about is putting my knees first. My knees are just important. What does it look like to put your knees uh, first? Respecting myself, it's okay for me to say no, no. Loving me is okay. <laughs> it's okay for me to say no. <laughs> Introduction, uh, what does it mean to say true to ourselves? We all have a, a different um, definition of staying true to ourselves. So some people mean that um, me staying true to myself, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be straight up, I'm gonna be straightforward, or simply just being the type of person you is, uh, not allowing people to change um, who you are. So, um, that's simply how some people define being true to themselves. Um, during this workshop, I will be presenting what it means to stay true to yourself. Some people already have an idea of what it means to stay true to yourself, but um, for others that don't, this presentation will give you simply an understanding or just, be, uh, just simply add to what you already know. Putting my needs first. When it comes to putting um, our needs first, what do they really need? Do you know what your needs are? Um, our needs tend to fluctuate uh, on day by day and season. Uh, we change for our family. We change for our uh, employee. We change for our partner. We change for many different reasons. So our needs uh, change right along with us. So do you understand what does it mean? Uh, what are your needs? Do you know what are your needs? When it comes to putting one needs first, what are the needs? Uh, what are your needs? Do you consider having good finances? Do you consider having a healthy relationship? Do you consider it to be stable? Do you consider it to having a, a home? What type of home are you looking for? So when you come to look at putting your needs first, these are some things that you can look at um, when it comes to addressing what are your needs. My needs are just important. When it comes to your needs, yes, they are important. Why? Because according to mass, uh, mass law her, uh, a theory uh, of your needs, you need to have, uh, you have to be satisfied in order to function. Your basic needs must be satisfied to progress. Because as you see, I have a pyramid. So at the pyramid, you're going to start from the bottom and go on to the top. So when we talk about psychology needs, the basic needs is breathing, food, water, sleep, and sex, and homocytes. What do homostasis mean? Homostasis means for something to something that stay the same. It doesn't change. So some things that you have to look in your life. What are some things that can stay the uh, that can stay the same? Um, excretion meaning releasing things, not just urine, but you need to release things from you. Um, also, we see safety, uh, security of body, of employment, of resources. So as you see. When we go from psychology, uh, so in order to be uh, have your safety, you have to have the basic needs first because without the basic needs, you cannot provide safety for yourself. Then once we get to the safety, past the safety, the love, belonging, and the friendship and family. If you do not have your basic needs, how can you function inside of an intimacy relationship? How can you function with your family? How can you function with your friendship? So without your basic needs, these things would not be able to occur. And the most important things that we're going to talk about throughout this uh, presentation is a, a self-esteem. So if your basic needs are not met, you cannot hold your self-esteem or have the self-esteem that you're looking for. Um, then we go to the self uh Actualization, what does that mean? Being able to problem solve, um, being able to accept what the facts are. So am I living in the illusion world or am I going to deal with the facts? My needs are just important. My needs include the need to be stable. What does stable really mean? What it means to me is having my mental status in check once again, as we go back to Maslow's theory. This is a main important or uh, the psychological is having your, uh, this is a main part, having your mental status in check. Um, if your mental status is not in check, you can, in check, you cannot be productive. So if you're on medicine and you're not taking, this is an unhealthy situation because you will not be able to function and be very productive if you are not very stable. Uh, we all know um, things in our life change, but having a stable home 
but having a stable home, a stable partner, and stable apartment is something that is very is very important that we all will want to have. Um, it's something that we would like to have. We all want to have. We want to have this stability. Taking care of your needs, according to Maslow, you will have the ability to understand what needs and feelings, what your needs and feelings are. So if you take care of your basic needs, addressing those psychological needs, you understand what you need out of life. You will have the ability to understand what is facts and the meanings of not living in some illusion world. So if you are the type of the person who does not like being told the truth, you're living in the illusion. So no, you have to be able to understand what your needs are. What does it look like um, to put your needs first? Uh, put your needs first. Putting one needs first means a lot about your self-worth. It does not mean that you're a selfish person because um, some people, according to society, that if you take time out for yourself, that some people believe that you're a selfish person. No, because you always have to have uh, some me time. You always have to take care of your needs. Um, taking care of yourself is a more beneficial to you just, just like as a parent when you get on the plane or when you're sick it always say that you take care of yourself first and up in order to take care of others so when you get on the plane if a plane began to crash and they say who go uh, who mask goes on first mommy puts her mask on first then mommy puts on baby mask because if mommy is low on oxygen how can she uh take care of baby if mommy is sick how can mommy take care of baby so you do have to take care of yourself and your needs first putting your needs first means that you care a lot about yourself um you uh you care for yourself better once again if you are not able to care for yourself how can you care for somebody else Taking care of your needs uh, gives uh, healthy businesses. What do I mean? Um, putting your needs first, you can eliminate the fear of anxiety, depression, possibly some work. So if you are wanting to do things, and so say like, if you know you're the type of person that likes jogging, and you told your friend um, that you're going to come over and do some things, don't put off what you're going to do do what you're going to do first, and then you go attend to your friend if it's not an emergency. Because when you start putting other people's needs before yours, you do begin to get a little bit depressed. And you do have regrets like, man, I should have done this. I should have did this. Because when stuff starts not going right in your life, you do start feeling down because you put everybody else's needs before yours. Or if you know you wanted to go to school and you kept putting it off because of some other reasons no put those needs first so you won't have no regrets when putting your needs first this is not selfish ways you don't have any regrets about things that you want to do or uh when it comes down to uh or doing things to better yourself these are non-selfish ways so going to school taking care of your household those are non-selfish ways and it does not have to be explained to somebody to why you are putting these needs first because they're going to better serve you in the long run you don't have to explain that to nobody that's a non-selfish way um these are non-selfish acts i want to go to school i can't do this right now i need to go to school i i can't afford this right now Th those are non-selfish acts Next. um Putting myself uh, first, right? It's respecting myself. When it comes to being true to, when it comes to being true to myself, respecting myself goes a long way because I have to have respect for myself in order for me to be true to myself. How do I respect myself? Understanding yourself and being accepted of all the goods and bad. So therefore, when you respect yourself, you respect every aspect of yourself. You do not just accept just I'm good and I'm up here. Then when you get low, you don't, you lose everything about yourself. No, you're going to have highs, you're going to have lows. So therefore you keep that same type of respect that you have when you're down. You keep that same type of respect when you're going up. Accepting other values and opinion as their, uh, as their own. Why does that help you to respect yourself? Because respecting yourself also means that you have to respect how other people see you and how other people view you. That don't mean that you have to agree with it, but that's how you ex respect yourself is ex uh, respecting other people's value. Treating yourself fairly. Um, 
we are not going to have good days, but you're still supposed to treat yourself kind and fair. Taking care of your mind and body. What do I mean? Um, respecting myself, not abusing myself for self-harm, substance use. This is the big one. Being in a toxic relationship, uh, this is the main one. When you start being in toxic relationships and start self-harming yourself, you start losing some sort of respect for yourself. Taking care of your mental health uh, allows you to be more productive. So if you're taking care of your mental health, because your mental health is what makes you productive every day. So once you start taking care of that, you can be uh, productive in other uh, areas in your life. Who? How many of us have a problem with this big word that's in uh, capitalized? Because I know not with just my children, but um, me being a mom, being a wife, I have a problem with the word N-O. So we're going to show how, staying true to yourself, how no is not a selfish word. Um, you should be allowed to say no without feeling any regrets, without people making you feel guilty. Um, let's go over some reasons to say no that you should feel okay about without feeling like you're a selfish person, okay? Giving out money that you do not have to give. It's okay to help people out, but if you know you got to pay rent, you know you got to pay lights, you know you got to pay gas, you just know you just don't have it to give. Um, You just don't have it to give. And it's okay if you don't have it to give because... You cannot give somebody something that you're going to have. And then you got to try to figure out how you're going to get it back. Not working overtime when you have midterm or other important obligations. Yeah, that goes from your employer too. If you know you have a midterm that's coming up the next day or you have prior uh, obligations, it's okay for people to understand, no, I cannot work overtime. You know, they'll just be mad. I cannot work. Which one is more important? you finishing your midterm or these other obligations that you have. No, you, you just can't do it. Taking on other people's burdens, such as their children, their toxic relationships, allowing other people to come stay in your home. These are some things that can put a burden on you. It's okay if you can deal with it. Um, you have the room to take other people's kids. That's okay, but it's also a certain point of time that it's okay to say no. No, I'm not babysitting this week. Um, no. I'm not babysitting. There are toxic relationships you do not have to deal with. When your friend call you, your kids call you, no. I don't want to deal with it. It's okay to say no. It's not that you being a selfish person. Um, their toxic relationship is their problem, their burden, not yours. Um, allow people to come live in your home. When you allow people to come and live in your home, um, you got to deal with a lot. Uh, it's a lot of transitions going on. They got to get adjusted to you. You got to get adjusted to them. And then if they dating people, they people want to come over. It's just too much. No, you can't come stay here. I'm sorry. I love you, but you just can't come here. Um, doing favors that go against your values and uh, your morals as a person. To sum it up, it's okay to say no to anything or any person that makes you feel uncomfortable or gives you a feeling that you know you will eat away what you simply regret. So if you know it's something that you cannot do and you know it's not a selfish act, say no. Just say no. Loving me is okay. Um, stand true to yourself is knowing how to love you, when to love you. Um, Loving you is not being selfish. In order to love yourself, you must understand your needs. Um, so taking time out for just yourself, it's okay. That's not a selfish act because we all need time to ourselves. We all need time to breathe, think, and just, just recuperate from going on. Being in tune with our own feelings. So being and you can it's not just being in a toxic relationship, just being with a person, period. So that means with if you just choose to be friends with benefits to somebody, being in tune with your own feelings, knowing that you have needs just like this. If you don't want to come over today, be in tune with your feelings. No, I don't want to be bothered today. Um, loving you, loving me, you do not have to always fulfill, uh, knowing that others don't have to fulfill your needs. You know how to meet your own needs. So I'm not looking for others to fulfill my needs in a sexual way. I'm not looking for people to fulfill my needs in a material way. I can fulfill my own needs and it's okay that you can't. Um, be content with who you are. Sometimes we kind of get down on ourselves because we're not content with who we are. 
loving you is being content with who you are. It's okay that you don't have the hair down your back. It's okay that you do not have the Beyonce looking body. It's okay. Loving you is being okay with your unique features and how you look. Being okay with what things that goes along with you. Loving me is not, do not allow toxic people in my space. Uh, mm -mm. Yes. Why keep going over toxic people? Because staying true to yourself is not allowing toxic people uh, to take up space. Because when you allow toxic people in your environment, they drain so much energy. Uh, they take a lot out of you. And then when it gets to the part where people start angering you, they control you. So letting toxic people into my space, no, you taking too much of my peace of mind, you got to go. Be okay with people being upset with me uh, or not speaking to me. Why am I okay? And you might say, like, that's stupid. Why would you want people to be mad at you? Because when you say the word no, you're going to have a lot of people mad at you. Because no is not a word many people is accustomed to hearing. No is not a word people want to hear. So it's okay because I'm saying no to you right now because I cannot do this. I don't have the means to it. This is too much for me. I cannot do it. So people are going to be upset with you and not speak to you because you are doing something that you want to do and you're not doing what they want uh, you to do. So they're going to stop speaking to you. It's okay for people to be mad and upset with me. Loving me brings me a peace of mind because when I wake up in the morning, I'm okay with me. I'm not worried about if you're okay with me. I'm worried about am I okay with me because at the end of the day, I still have to deal with myself. So if everybody outside is not okay with me, long as I'm okay with myself because I still have to deal with me. I don't, you don't have to. So being uh, is bringing me a peace of mind. Like I said, that's the best thing is you having your peace of mind. If you don't have nothing else, having your peace of mind, it's okay. So uh, thank you for tuning in to our, our workshop. Um, here goes some resources that we have. Um, uh, some resources that we have. So we look forward to seeing you guys. Um, seeing you guys next week.